Here's another interesting request that I got recently. At Yeah Agency asked this. Hello, my name is Alejandro and I'm speaking to you from Santiago, Chile. I recently bought the Tone Master Pro. I discovered your channel and I have learned a lot. Thank you for the time you take to make these videos. I would like to know if you can create a video where you explain things like how to create an effects chain that is divided into clean and distorted channel with modulations and also how can it be combined with another chain to have effects for the voice. Thank you very much for sharing your knowledge. P.S. My wife loves the decorations of your set. Where did you buy the lamps? Ha ha ha. Greetings. Well, first things first, tell your wife that I said thank you. We've been buying these lamps over the past 15 years. We had a demo studio south of Nashville and it was decorated with all sorts of lights. Then when we made the move to Illinois, the lava lamps came with us and all the other newer lights are LED lights that we ordered from Timu. Now, if I understand Alejandro correctly, he's looking for a preset with clean and distorted sounds for the guitar, plus a channel for microphone. I'm hoping I'm getting that right. Let's open up the Pro Control app and see what we can come up with. We'll start with a blank preset. We need to choose a different signal path, so click on Preset Settings, then click on Signal Path Type. This opens up the Signal Path Type panel. Now, looking at our options, we can see that there are five different signal paths that use both instrument and mic. That would be instrument plus mic line series, instrument plus mic line parallel, and instrument plus mic line mix one, mix two, and mix three. The first two, instrument plus mic slash line series, and instrument plus mic slash line parallel, allow you to have separate stereo outputs for each channel while the other three merge the signal paths. However, if you're using mono effects, each channel in those other three signal paths can be panned hard left or hard right, allowing them to be sent to different channels in your DAW or mixing console. So we're at the point of trying to figure out which signal path to use. If this preset is for live performances, then honestly you can use any one of the signal paths. There are too many possible scenarios to list, so I may be getting this wrong, but I'm going to assume that you are planning on using this preset for recording and you're going to be playing and singing at the same time and you're going to be using USB. In that case, you'd have to use one of the three instrument plus mic slash line mix signal paths. They have splitter boxes that allow you to pan your channels. So you could send your guitar signal to the left channel, USB 1, and your vocal signal to the right channel, USB 2. But if you wanted stereo effects on each channel, then you'd have to use either instrument plus mic line series or instrument plus mic line parallel. You could send the mic to output one and the guitar to output two. If you're recording, you'd have to have an interface with at least four inputs, like my PreSonus Studio 1810C. So it all depends on how you plan on using it. But like I said earlier, I'm gonna assume that you're gonna be using it for recording and you're going to be playing and singing at the same time, and you're going to be using USB. So let's choose instrument plus mic slash line mix one. Now it's time to build the preset. First off, I'm going to use two different amps. My clean amp will be the 65 Deluxe Reverb Blonde amp only version, and my dirt amp will be the FBE 100. So we hit plus, 65 Deluxe Reverb Blonde NBC, amp only, half stacks, FBE 100. I'll set up a foot switch that allows you to switch between these two amps and I'll call it clean slash dirty. Clean will use the blue LED while dirty will use the red. So click on the plus sign, on off, this guy and this guy, confirm. Color active, blue, color inactive, red. Custom label, clean slash dirty. Confirm. Back. Next I'll add the Royal Tone pedal for a little more dirt. And I'll also set up a foot switch for it. Plus sign. Effects. Royal Tone. Confirm. Foot switch assign. Plus. On off. Click on the Royal Tone. Confirm. Color active. Purple. Color inactive. Dim. Now let's turn that off. 
Alejandro wanted modulation, so let's add the 3D chorus. Effects, modulation, 3D chorus, over here. Now I always put time-based effects after the amp. Next I'll add the Little Rock Phaser. Plus, effects, modulation, Little Rock Phaser, move that over here. And for the last modulation pedal, let's choose the Tremolo. Plus, effects, modulation, Tremolo. Now I'll set up a foot switch for each of them, and then I'll assign them to switch link group A. What that means is that only one of these three effects can be on at one time. If you turn on any one of these three effects, the other two will be bypassed. Foot switch assign, plus on off 3D chorus, firm, color active, purple. Slide down, switch link A. Go back, add another on off, little rock phase shifter, confirm, color, cyan. Switch link, switch link A. Do you notice now 3D chorus is off and little rock phase shifter is on? Now let's add one more for, for the tremolo. On off, on tremolo, confirm, color active, green. Switch link, switch link A. So see, tremolo is on, 3D chorus and little rock is off. Turn on 3D chorus, little rock and tremolo are off. Turn on little rock, 3D chorus and tremolo turn off. Right now I'll turn all three of them off. Now I'll add the digital delay mono and the large plate reverb. These will be always on, so no foot switch is needed. Plus, effects, delay, digital delay mono, pull it over here. Plus, effects, reverb, large plate reverb, drag it over here. There's the guitar chain. Now it's time to build the vocal chain. If you saw my video on recording vocals, you know that the mic input gain can be turned up to match the guitar signal. So the very first thing I'm going to be doing is clicking on the settings icon, going down to I.O. and see mic input gain is set at plus 18 dB, that's the default. I'm turning it up to plus 36 dB. Because I'm using my Shure SM58 dynamic mic, phantom power is turned off. Click the back arrow. Okay, let's add the studio preamp. Go to Amp Heads, all the way down, click on Studio Preamp, and that's the first block in the mic chain. Next, we'll add the Studio Compressor. Plus sign, Effects, Dynamics, Studio Compressor. After that, I will add the EQ7 Graphic EQ. Plus, Effects, EQ. Now you can either do it once and click on the blue Confirm, or you can double click it. And then for sweetening, I'll add the studio delay and the large plate reverb. Plus, effects, delay, studio delay. Plus, effects, reverb, large plate reverb, double click, drag it over here. The last step is adjusting the splitter settings. So click on the splitter. We're going to leave the levels right straight up. Pan A which is for the top signal path, the guitar path, we're going to hard pan that to the left. Pan B, which is for the vocal signal path, we're going to hard pan that to the right. And of course, save your preset. I'm calling this one the Alejandro test. Now the one thing I noticed about using the mic slash line input is that it will make white noise if you don't have something plugged into it. That surprised me and I really don't think it should be like this. Do any of you have this problem? Well, now it's time to demo this preset. I've already adjusted the settings. So first, let me show you how it sounds if you use USB 1 slash 2 as your input in your DAW. So if you'll notice, I have USB 1 2 as my input. Now, this is what happens when you use USB 1 2 as the input. Let's get this recording. Vocal is on the right and guitar is on the left. So you do not want to have a situation like that where your vocal is hard panned to the right and your guitar is hard panned to the left. Okay, obviously that is not what you want. The guitar is panned hard left and the vocal is panned hard right. 
what you need to do is create two mono tracks in your digital audio workstation and use USB 1 as the input for your guitar track and USB 2 as the input for your vocal track. That way you can pan them however you'd like. I'm going to use the demo song from my last video and I'll scratch the vocals and lead guitar that I already had recorded. I'll record a new vocal and lead guitar at the same time using our new preset. So now what I'm going to do is put down vocal and lead guitar tracks at the same time using Alejandro's preset. All right, here we go. to shake inside when I see you stroll I lose all self-control that's what love will do for you that's what love will make you do no matter how hard I fight it baby I'm still in love with you Ever need, there's no limit to what I'll do. I work eight days a week, baby, bring it all to you. That's what love will do for you. That's what love will make you do. No matter how hard I fight it, baby, I'm still in love with you. Like I said earlier, I really need to know how he plans on using this preset in order to make the most effective preset for him. So for this one, I just winged it. If nothing else though, this preset could serve as a template for electric guitar plus vocals. Now let me know if this preset is something that you might find useful. And if you're still here, thank you so much for stopping by and sticking around. I sure do appreciate it. If you have any other questions, comments, or suggestions, drop me a line here and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Now we'll be having all new content this Friday. You don't want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right guys, have a great week and I'll be talking with you again on Friday.